Country Basket Weaving. I'm Sandy Atkinson. The basket we'll be working on today is our bedside basket. Your material and cut pattern is as follows. From one inch flat, you will cut nine pieces that are 30 inches long and five pieces at 28 inches. From your half inch flat, you'll need eight pieces at 29, six pieces at 25, and six pieces at 20 inches. You'll also need some three quarter inch flat dyed is an option, half inch flat, <clears throat> 20 inch notched handle, 5 eighths inch flat oval for your rim, and 4 millimeter of caning. The caning you could also use other sizes too. To get started you're going to take your five pieces that are 28 inches, mark your centers on them on the wrong side. Underneath a spoke weight lay out these five pieces. I want your center marks up. I'm not going to worry about spacing right now. There we go. Come back with your 30 inch pieces and weave the first 30 inch piece, it's already center marked, right through the center here. Right on top of those marks. And of course my center mark here is going to match up with my center spoke. Then we're going to take your 29 inch pieces and we're going to weave one on each side of the center over and under the opposite pattern of the one before it. Pull this one down tight. Weave another one across here and pull that one in tight. Now come back in and get another piece of 30 and we're going to weave this one in. And another piece at the top here. Oops, I just wove that. It has to be the opposite of the row before it. This is just a basic basket weave. Now another 20 inch piece. These are your half inch pieces here. Your 29 inch piece, that's what goes in here. Pull it down. Again, your 30s. We don't need this spoke weight on anymore, so I'm going to take that off. It's holding itself down now. Alternate these every other one. I need to line up my 30 inch pieces. They're a little bit off. Make sure the center one runs right down the middle. Okay, another 30. I'm going to end with my 30 inch pieces on the outside. Okay, I finished this end and again I'm going to always end with my large piece on the outside. One more up here of the half inch and my final 30 inch piece way up here at the top. My spacing is about three quarters of an inch apart. Pull this over a little bit. Okay, make sure they're all lined up. Go ahead and clip your four corners. That'll hold it together. There's no twining on this base. It's just going to go in upset. Remember upsetting. We're only going to upset the 30 inch pieces, the wide ones. The other 29 um, inch pieces, a half inch is going to lay out flat. That's going to create our side pockets. When you come to your corners, 
I want you to take your clothespin and clamp the four corners together, the four pieces at each corner. Remember not to pick up those half inch pieces. I'm going to set this one up a little bit out of my way. Use your thumb to mark that. Give yourself something to push against. And put up my four corners. Now you can, whoops, I missed a corner here. There we go. Now we need, and I like to use a wide piece down here at the base. So I have a piece here. Make sure your right side is out. I like to start at the sides here. Bring these up. And I have another, you can use one inch or you could use three quarters going around the base here. Remember we're going to start on the outside and we're going to clip it here with a pin to hold it on and we're going to weave it around every other one. Undo your corners. It's not going to look very neat at this point. There's nothing to hold it together. Come back and put your corners back up. Give it a turn. Use your clothespins. I'm going to put a clothespin here to hook up my corner. Go around my corners. Again, make sure you do not pick up your half inch pieces. They should be laying flat. And I know this row looks sloppy. Every other one. Come in here and bring up those ones that are on the inside where the, the weaver is on the inside and hook it with a clothespin. Put your corners back up. Don't be afraid to put a bend on those. It's not going to hurt them. They're wet, so they're not going to break. And I'm back to where I started. If I work the pattern correctly, I will be ending up right on top, running right over where I started. So I'm going to overlap right where I started and go behind at least four. Come in here and I'm going to hide this end behind here. I can cut it off first and sneak that end under there. That hides my ends. Okay, that's our first row around. Now we're going to build the sides and I'm going to go in and get another basket. This, I have one side built on here already. I have one row in, all clipped up. Here's my pieces laying out here. I still have my corners clipped up. And I'm going to come in here with my 20 inch piece. Now that'll be the shortest of the pieces that you have. Mark your centers again. Oh, pardon me, don't mark your centers on this one. Well, it wouldn't hurt. Okay, we're going to go over and under. Mark your centers. <laughs> Line them up here. I know this is hard to see. What I've done here is I've lined, I want to push this right up against the bottom of the basket as close as I can get it. I've woven it over and under. Now I'm taking this one and I'm going to turn under with it and put a crease in it. And you will get these hairs. You're going to have to come back here and trim them out. And this piece is going to come up here and tuck under my third piece over. Trim it off if it's too long. It should be a little bit too long. We left trim room on the pattern. And this end over here is going to come this way and fold in and hide under again the third one over. Trim it back to hide and tuck that end in there. Then give it a little push back so it 
meets the bottom of the base of our original first basket we made. Taking a 25 inch piece now with the centers marked, you're going to weave it the opposite pattern of the one you just put in, line up your centers and push it over. No tucking on this one. But we're going to take another 20 inch piece and we're going to do the same thing. Run it opposite of the row just in, line up your middle, push it up in there tight. The first one is going to go under. Bring it in here and trim. And hide that end under there. And this one will go over and hide that end. Now another long piece. Opposite pattern over and under. Sometimes called plating. I usually call it just a basic basket weave. And my short piece. And this one's going to again overlap. Come back and hide the ends. Try to always keep our ends hidden. And I need a longer piece. Okay, I'm going to end with a long piece. Now these were from my other side. I don't need them because I've already done the other side to save time. Now we're coming in here and we're going to upset these. And again, there's, we're going to have to clip the four corners together. Upset the ones in between. Press them down. They won't break. This one needs a bit more of a bend. And clip those. Now, in order to get these sides to secure, be securely together, we have to do a row completely around the basket. You'll need to use the same size that you used before, or half that size and put in two rows. To start weaving up the sides, we're going to look at our original pattern here and weave it just the opposite. So here I go. Make sure that your weaver is on the right side facing out. We're always going to start on top. This piece under here went under. I want this piece on top here. Take off your corners and weave around your corners. Put a little fold here at the corners. It'll help it stay in place a little easier for you. Be sure and put that corner back up over and under. Put a little crease in here. That'll help that stay together. Use your pins. It's going to take lots of close pins to put this first row in. Undo our corners here. Put it back up when you go around. Need to do that for about four rows. We're weaving right on top of the side weaving now from that first row of the inside of the basket. Come around here. Put your fold in here and you need to go behind here because I'm in front of this one therefore I need to be behind that one. Go to the corner. Don't forget that little crease right in there. Put your corner back on when you go around it. It's going to look really sloppy I know at this point. Oops, it doesn't want to go there. There we go. Do your corner. You can see here this is gapping up, so just put a little fold there. Come around. Put your crease here. Doesn't hurt to put a close pin. Go around your corner. Put your corner back up. Turn this around here so you can see what I'm doing. Again, I'm putting a little fold in here. I'm in front of this one, so I need to be behind this short, uh, the half inch piece here. Oops, behind over, under, just a basic pattern. Come around the corner. Oop, 
Oops, got one in there. Let's take this one out so I can go behind it, then put it back up. Turn the basket again. If I haven't made a mistake, I'll be on the same pattern that I was before, which I am. I'm going to overlap it four. Put a close pin here to hold. I'm going to overlap four, and I'm going to cut it off and let it hide behind this one. Okay, so this one will hide it for me. Now, if I lay it down, we'll kind of straighten this out. You may be more comfortable working with yours laying down. See, I need a close pin over here. The next row that you will do will be an inside row again. You need to put it on inside, opposite pattern of what you just done. I like to start my inside rows inside. Um, on the, these, not the ends, but the side pieces. And again, you're going to weave it just over and under, all the way around. I've already done that on our next basket here. And on this one, I inserted a blue. Can you see my dyed reed here? I think it'd be pretty, but remember, if you're going to use a dyed piece in here, and you want to do the same, you have to use a dyed piece, a long piece on the outside, in order for it all to show. We're going to do another row. Um, this will be our inside row. So let's do an inside row. I'm going to start that, like I said, in here. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm working inside here, always starting on top. This would be my outside. Working around. Take off your pins. You probably won't need them as much now. Work this row and then come around and you'll work another outside row. You'll need to do the sides up. Let's measure and see what I've got here. The sides are about four inches, okay? And the center basket here is about five and a half inches. I've added some extra color here. I've done the, the tucking and the cutting off on the inside, except for this one here, because I wanted to show you. At your corners here, your four corners, tuck them both ways. And that just gives it a little bit more sturdiness. Use your, come in here with your screwdriver and insert that piece in there. And yes, I know you're going to get those hairs because the wrong side of the reed is now showing. But we'll come in there and trim those off. And you have your rim that goes on yet. That one was, doesn't want to go down. So we're going to tuck that one in. This one's really splitting on me. I'm going to come in here and trim this off. Okay, over here on the side, you're going to tuck this one in. Come in here and measure down. Try to catch a couple of rows. Skip over my first row of weaving. Insert it down in here and tuck it down in there. Let me tip it up on the side so I can see where it's traveling to. There. This one I'm going to cut off. But this one again, I know it's tucking on the outside, but I want that little bit of security there that, to make it a little bit sturdier. So I'm going to tuck this one in here. Now we're ready to put in our center insert. Take some half inch flat and come in here. I like to start with a flat edge here. We're going to come in and I'm doing it off center. This is my center one here. I'm going to make my insert here. I'm going to stick this one down. Oh, you need to stick it down about three rows and hide your end up here. Put a fold on it and draw this up and give yourself about three inches above the basket. And again, we're going to skip over this one. This one's going to go in here, hide the end, draw it up, and cut it. And one more over on this side. Hide your ends, 
draw it up, and we're going to cut it. Reverse the basket, and we're going to do the same thing going this way. Under three, hide it, draw it up, give yourself a good three inches, stick it down here, hide that end, draw it up and cut it. Now put a fold on each one of these. See how these are forming our spokes inside now? Starting down here, I want to go this way on this one. I'm going to have to put a fold in here. Coming down here. Secure that end in there. Weave this over and under. Pack it down. You want it tight to the base of the basket. Put a fold over here and run this end through this spoke here. Draw it up here, line it up, keep it fairly straight. I'm going to cut it off, secure it under this spoke down here. Taking some more of your half inch, doesn't want to, there it goes. Taking some more of your half inch, we're going to do the same thing and weave a row on top of it. This time I'm going to weave it just the opposite. So I'm going to secure it here. Same spot because I'm using half inch and I used inch on my bottom. And I'm going to weave this over and under opposite weave of the one I just put in. Put my fold over here. Weave it on top. Come in here and you're going to cut it and tuck it the very same way that you did the first time. Keep weaving those out. And when you get to the top, like I've done on this basket here, simply fold each one of these opposite. Okay? Fold them over and tuck them in, just like we've done on the top rims before. Now we need to go right into doing our rims on the outside of the pockets here. And I already have two pieces that are pre-cut. I'm simply going to lay this piece in here. Do not whittle it off. Just lay it up in there tight. Put a bend on it here. And we're going to put lots of clothespins on. Another bend here at your corner. Come in here and we're going to cut this off so it butts right up in there to our basket, to the center of the basket. Do the very same thing on the inside. I'm going to do this quickly. Then I've taken a piece. Make sure that the flat side of the flat oval faces the basket. Come in here and mark it and clip it off. It should butt right up to the basket there. A little bit too long. Okay, put a clothespin in here. I have some decorative trim. Now this is, it's paper rush is what it is, so you really don't want to get it wet. I'm going to insert it on the top here. That makes a pretty trim and it covers up my work. On the ends, we're just going to tuck those ends down just a little bit probably have to cut this off. It's a little bit too long. I don't want to cut it off until I weave over there, though. I'm using caning. Again, I like caning for the lash work. Come in here, and we're going to come up between the rim on the inside of the basket. Pick up that paper uh, trim work that we have there, and we're going to go in through here. Use your screwdriver and open this up. Come in through here, and we're going to go around again and leave a tail on the outside. What I've done is I've circled this number, this half inch flat there. My rim has come off, so simply replace that rim. Replace your paper. Bring this end over. I want to tuck this in here, this little piece of trim work. Get that end tucked in there. Okay, it slipped out. Let me come back here and bring it around. Find the right side here. Put a point on it so it'll travel for you. Go back into your hole here. First of all, I'm going to come up and cut off my little tail and get that out of the way. I'm going back into the same hole so I can secure this end down. 
This is about the only thing that's going to hold that in, so I want to make sure I get it in there nice and secure, nice and tight. And if you think you need to, go ahead and put another round on there just to secure that end in really tight. And then you're going to overlap and you're going to lash this around. Let me take this piece to the inside. Go between your weavers, between your spokes, and give that a pull. But if you need to do a couple of wraps in there, go ahead and do them because you need to secure that in. Continue lashing around here in the normal fashion like we've done it before. And up here you're going to put on your rim, insert your handle, do your lashing and add your trim work here. Don't forget to X out your handle there. The basket we'll be working on next week is our Oreo basket. It has a real pretty God's eye. We'll look for you then.